Hello everyone, my name is Randomly, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to add a audio buffer to your avatar. Now you're probably wondering, what is a audio buffer? Instead of explaining it, let me show you. I'm gonna use this weapon for example, free to download on my booth in the description below. And I want you guys to listen very carefully. Can you guys hear that? The audio is immediately cutting off as soon as I let go of the trigger. And we don't want that. We want our audio to play out completely. And it's annoying to press and hold the trigger for the audio. So let's fix that. So here we are in Unity, and as you can see, I have my weapon here, which the audio is in the firing animation alongside with my particles. Now, of course, you could just do the audio itself, but as long as you have the game object that's tied along with the audio, it still works. First, locate your audio, which mine is in the sound effects. Click on it once to open its settings. As you can see in the bottom right, you have the time of how long the audio is. For me, mine says one and 68 milliseconds. And remember that number. Find your FX and drag it into your controller and click on animations. There we're gonna go and find the firing clip. For this clip, it just toggles the fire game object which has the audio inside. Go to the first frame and check it off and go to the next frame over and make sure it's checked on. Go to samples, type in 100 and in the keyframe box here, type in the number that we recorded in the audio which mine is 168. As you can see, that's where the audio will end exactly at that frame. But just in case for safe measures, I always like to add an extra 10 or 20 frames. So let's go ahead and do 10. Finally, check the fire animation off. Click on preview to reset your avatar. Double click your FX and look into the firing layer. In this layer is just a simple button on and off. Highlight the fire on, open its settings, Type in the number we recorded in the transition duration. For example, mine will be 1.78 and set the interruption source to next state. Also double check the starting transition is set to zero and bam, you're all done. Now wait a second randomly, can we do a hand gesture to this? Yes and no. I have tried to do a hand gesture to the firing animation, but it's just kind of iffy. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, and it just seems like it's glitching out. Yeah, sad face. So I hope this helps you guys out. And if you guys have any tutorials that you want me to do, comment below. My name is Randomly, and like always, keep smiling for me.